Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team, here with my Samsung Epic 4G Touch, here to do a video showing you how to manually update your Epic Touch to EK02 Android 2.3.6. This is for stock phones only. I will do a separate video for rooted phones, having clockwork mod, but disregard that. This is for stock phones. You need to be out of the box, stock EG30. Uh, what uh, that means is go to settings, go to about phone, and as you can see right now, current Android version is 2.3.4. This was a, uh, a build I believe someone pulled off of their phone. I'm sure it will be an OTA from Sprint. That would be my guess, EKO2. But as you can see, build number right now, Gingerbread EG30. But if you have the EG31 modem, you're out of luck right now. You cannot do this. So make sure under baseband version it says EG30. Um, you can't downgrade to EG30 either. So if you don't have the EG30 modem on your phone at the moment, you cannot follow this method. This is for complete stock EG30. Build number needs to say EG30. Baseband version needs to say EG30. So as you can see, it will upgrade your OS to 2.3.6 from 2.3.4. Otherwise, once you are completely stock and have complete EG30, click on the link in the description of the video. You actually have two options. Um, you have a, a stock option, which will keep you completely stock, or you have a pre-rooted version, which will uh, give you super user access and have you be rooted while on this new EK02. I do want to give a big thanks to Kingsway8605 for this, as well as Viper Boy, Shabby Penguin, Chris41G, TCP, Graphics, NYC Digits, and everyone else who helped out. So thanks to everyone that was involved in getting this going. But as I said, choose which one you want, uh, whether you want the stock update zip or the pre-rooted update zip. I have downloaded the stock update zip. I know I, as you guys saw, I was on the EG31 modem, so I can't do this, but I'm gonna show you the method to do this. So download the stock update zip from right here. Click on it, it'll download. It's gonna be a bunch of numbers. Let me open up the folder, and it's gonna look like this. So as you can see right there, it's going to look like that. It's gonna be a bunch of numbers, and that regardless of which one that you download, you're actually just going to need to rename it. Make sure you rename it to uh, update. That's it. Just update. That's all you got to do. Enter. Just rename it to that. And once it's renamed to that, you're going to need to go to your phone and plug it into your PC. So plug it on in. Before I do plug it in, since you're on stock, if you're getting only MTP or whatever it is, uh, go to settings, go to applications, go to development, and check USB debugging to allow you to mount as a storage device if you're having problems transferring it over. Otherwise, plug it on in, select copy, connect USB storage, and it should pop up on your PC as a removable disk. So all I'm going to do is click and drag that update zip over to my removable disk G. So click and drag and put it on over to your removable disk G. Um, I do also wanna make a side note that I'm not sure if this works if you put it on your external SD card or not. I'm putting it on my internal. I do not know. I will post a annotation if it does work on your SD card. Let me know if you try it from your SD card. But either way, as you can see on my removable disk, update.zip, you're good to go. So go ahead and go right click on your removable disk and hit eject. And then you're ready to unplug it and update your phone. So once you have that on your SD card, whether it's the pre-rooted or stock, make sure it's renamed to update and power off your phone. This update shouldn't wipe your data, so you don't really need to worry about that since it, my guess is it will probably will be an OTA from Sprint. As I said, if you don't, if you have the EG12 or EG31 modems, you're out of luck until ATAR is released. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna need to go into stock Android recovery now. To do so, you press the volume up and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those. Keep it held down until it gets into stock Android recovery. So keep it held down, keep holding. It does take a little while, as you can see. And here we go. 
So, as you can see, this is stock Android recovery. Up at the top, Android system recovery. All you have to do is hit the volume down button once, and then that's it. You're highlighted over apply update.zip and press the home button. I'm not going to do it. Well, I guess I could. It's just going to fail regardless. So, you, as I said, stock EG30, press the home button, and it'll do update zip. As you can see, it, it failed. So, yeah, I'm not worrying about it. So, it definitely isn't going to work. So keep that in mind when you're applying your update from SD card. And other than that, that's the method you use to update your Samsung Epic 4G Touch to stock Android 2.3.6 EK02. Definitely a lot more videos to come for that, whether you have Clockwork Mod to install it, etc. So be sure to subscribe to me for future videos and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Links are in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.